looking to explore Poland. This ultimate Poland itinerary will guide you through the perfect trip, from historic cities like Warsaw and Krakow to picturesque landscapes in the Tatra Mountains. Discover the best attractions, activities, and experiences that Poland has to offer in this comprehensive travel guide. Don't miss out on creating unforgettable memories in this beautiful European destination with our curated itinerary. See three of Poland's most well-known cities on this five-day tour. Begin in Gdansk, a stunning city on the Baltic coast where you can take a leisurely stroll around the vibrant old town and spend the day seeing Malbor Castle or the Baltic beaches. Travel on to Warsaw next. This is a city with a turbulent past and a promising future. The trip comes to a close at Krakow, a popular destination for tourists visiting Poland. There is no need to rent a car because you will only be using public transit on this schedule. Trains will be used to connect the major cities, and for day trips, either private drivers or commuter trains will be used. When it comes to making travel reservations, we provide you with the information you need. At the end of this post, we also give recommendations on what to do if you have more time. This five-day Poland itinerary gives you a nice overview to the country but there is still a lot more to see and do other than quick visits to Gdansk, Warsaw, and Krakow. Your arrival time in Gdansk will probably be either midday or early in the morning, depending on your flight. Plan to arrange a private transportation to your accommodation. As soon as you get to your hotel, settle in and check in. Naps should only be taken when absolutely necessary. To help you acclimate to the time change as soon as possible, it's best to remain up and consume some coffee. Gdansk is a great starting point for your trip through Poland because it's a low-key city with most sites being located right within the historic old town. Stroll di Ludi Targ, aka the Royal Way. The ideal way to spend your first day in Gdansk is to take a leisurely stroll along di Ludi Targ, which is also known as the Royal Way or the Long Market. This is Gdansk's principal thoroughfare. Walk the whole length of Dilugi Targ, beginning at the Golden Gate at the western end and finishing at the Green Gate. Along the way, you can see the well-known Neptune Fountain and climb the Town Hall Tower for some of the best city views. You can even have time to explore the Metlawa waterfront, depending on how quickly you travel. Take note of Zura, the enormous wooden crane that commands attention on the shore. Goldwasser is another upscale restaurant. The food is great, but not quite as good as Prologue. However, you can get a table on the balcony and overlook the Metlawa River. The setting is amazing. For wonderful Polish food, head to Restoragja Bazaar, which is located across the Metlawa River. Our favorite dish at this place was the wild boar. Where to stay in Gdansk? You'll discover that many of the greatest locations for lodging in Gdansk can be found in the city's old town. Gdansk is one of the few locations where you can stay in the center of the city without paying a fortune, and it's far less expensive than most other European cities. Family Luxury Nature Apartment was the name of the apartment where we stayed. This is a tiny apartment with a living room and kitchen that has two bedrooms and one bathroom. Dilugi Targ is only a few blocks distant from it. We could easily stroll to all of Gdansk's major attractions, and we had plenty of space and reliable Wi-Fi. The Nature Old City apartment is highly recommended by us, but we also have a whole post on the top accommodations in Gdansk. Museum of the Second World War. Even if you're not a museum enthusiast, you should definitely check out one of Poland's top museums. Poland suffered greatly during World War Roman II, and this museum does a fantastic job of teaching tourists about this aspect of Polish history. Arrive here as soon as it opens for the finest experience, by midday, there may be a long line for tickets, and they may sell out for the entire day. However, we had no trouble obtaining tickets during our July visit when we were in line at 9.30 a.m. A visit here lasts about three hours. I highly recommend taking the audio guide tour to get the most out of your visit. The Museum of the Second World War is surrounded by a number of eateries and cafes. If you didn't eat at Prologue Restaurant last night, you might want to come by for lunch as it's only a five-minute stroll from the museum. Lunch at one of G-Dance's greatest pierogi eateries is only a 15-minute walk away. Piragarnia Mandu Centrum is a must-see location in Gdansk, particularly if you're looking to try one of Poland's most well-known dishes. Day trip to Malbor Castle or the Baltic Coast? 
Once more, you have an option. Take a day excursion to the Baltic shores or explore one of Europe's biggest castles. Malbork Castle. The most well-known castle in Poland is Malbork Castle. Constructed in the 13th century by the Teutonic Knights, it alternated between German and Polish sovereignty before suffering some damage during World War Roman II. It is currently one of the most well-known tourist destinations in Poland and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Including the travel time from Gdansk, a visit here takes about five hours. Depending on the route you select, getting to Malbar Castle by train can take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes and typical visit to the castle lasts approximately three and a half hours. After lunch at Gothic Cafe, take the train back to Gdansk. You can probably return to Gdansk by mid-afternoon if you begin your tour of Malbork Castle at nine in the morning. The remainder of the day can be spent at the Literaca Wine Bar, the European Solidarity Center, or further exploring the Old Town. Tri-City Day Trip, Saupad and Gdania. The Tri-City is the collective name for the cities of Gdansk, Sapat, and Gdynia. Sapat is a chic seaside town well known for its beaches and nightlife. Gdynia is a smaller, more sedate town featuring a harbor, a beach, and multiple interesting museums. Al Tajdarthus is an excellent choice to think about for a day trip if you are visiting Poland in the warmer months. During the cooler months, you can still take day trips to Sapat and Gdynia but Salpot will be more quieter and the beach is desolate. For wintertime, Malbork Castle is a preferable choice. All Tajadurthus is an excellent choice to think about for a day trip if you are visiting Poland in the warmer months. During the cooler months, you can still take day trips to Salpot and Gdynia, but Salpot will be more quieter and the beach is desolate. For wintertime, Malbork Castle is a preferable choice. The most of the day will be spent on the day trip to Jidnia and Sapat. Take a tour of one or two museums in Jidania first, and then head south to the Jidania Cliffs and Orlowo Pier. The Tri-City is made up of the cities of Gdansk, Sapat, and Jidania. Sapat is a chic seaside town well known for its beaches and nightlife. Jidania is a more intimate town featuring a harbor, a beach. Travel to Warsaw. By high-speed rail, the trip from Gdansk to Warsaw takes roughly three hours. The high-speed Pendolino trains, also known as the Express Intercity Premium trains, have been running from Gdansk to Warsaw since 2014. Reservations for seats are required in advance. Reservations should be made as soon as possible because tickets go on sale 30 days in advance to view images and learn more about the train. Spend the afternoon at the Warsaw Uprising Museum? Instead of packing too many museums into tomorrow, I suggest attending one of the most significant museums in Warsaw today afternoon. Among the best museums in Warsaw is the Warsaw Uprising Museum. You will study the Warsaw Uprising and its aftermath in considerable depth. Understanding this key period of history is essential to understanding Warsaw. Two to three hours are spent here on a visit. This museum is located outside of the historic old town. Depending on where your hotel is, you can either walk, Uber, or take the metro to get to here. Evening in the old town. Explore the old town throughout the evening. Enjoy supper and beverages while sightseeing. Even though you'll be back tomorrow, it's worth returning to one of Warsaw's liveliest locations. There's an additional online method for purchasing tickets. A business called PolRail will arrange for your tickets. Although they claim to be able to reserve tickets 60 days in advance, they only really do so 30 days ahead of time. Tim emailed PolRail to confirm this. If you want to avoid the headache of purchasing your own tickets, this is a fantastic choice. Polish food is served at Podwale 25, a Bavarian-style restaurant located in Old Town. Enjoy a liter of beer while dining on schnitzel, steak, and pig knuckles. Also, do not miss tasting the house-made lemon vodka. Thank you for watching our ultimate Poland itinerary. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and tips. Happy travels!